What can I say about my friend Matt Fink? Prince, along with his band The Revolution, in many ways defined the music of the 80s, with echoes of the Minneapolis sound reverberating through the pop charts for the rest of the decade. From 1979 to 1991, Dr. Fink was an integral member of Prince's touring band, cementing his place in pop music history. His solo on the head is quite simply one of the finest synth solos ever committed to record, and his deadpan and quirky stylings always resonated with me. He's definitely one of the top three keyboard playing doctors. My name's Adam Rudiger from the band Lake Minnetonka, and I want to tell you a bit about my history with Matt, Dr. Fink. In 2014, Matt decided to come to Australia to play some shows and do some workshops. Imagine my excitement when I was asked by the organisers to be the musical director of Dr. Fink's House Call. I assembled a band of the funkiest musicians I knew to play the music of Prince and the Revolution with an actual member of the Revolution. We had one rehearsal before the gig and Matt and I got to know each other by trading a few licks. A couple of nights later, we played our first show at the Toff in town here in Melbourne, and it was an amazing gig. Matt and his wife Andrea stayed on in Melbourne for about a week and managed to fit in fun stuff like a trip to Hillsville Sanctuary, a riverboat cruise, an interview on the ABC with Richard Stubbs, and even a sit-in with my band Lake Minnetonka at the Spotted Mallow. The following year I decided to make the pilgrimage to Minneapolis to begin recording the first Lake Minnetonka album, Melbourneapolis. I asked for Matt's help to assemble a super group of luminaries from Prince's bands over the years. We recorded at the operating room, Matt's home studio in Savage, Minnesota. Eric Leeds on the sax, Sonny Thompson on the bass, Patar Yanyich on the drums, and Matt and myself on keys. Later St. Paul Peterson would add bass back here in Melbourne. These sessions yielded the tunes Clipnosis and Out There Bout There. That was it. Cool. Very cool. My hand was going. <laughs> like, do you want to hear that back? Yeah, yeah. And of course. Matt took me to see the real Lake Minnetonka. In 2019, I returned to Minneapolis to make more music, this time with L.A. Buckner on drums, St. Paul Peterson on bass, and Matt and myself on keys. We recorded four tracks for the album House Arrest at River Rock Studios in North Minneapolis. The tunes were Hip Balm, No One, Romeo, and 3AM Bunker Fun.
Later that week, I hung out down at First Avenue to see the Revolution receive their star. So if you look behind me, you'll see the Revolution. No big deal. Just met Lisa Coleman. We had a chat and we talked. Talked for seconds. Went for seconds, whole seconds. Then Matt and Andrew gave me a lift to Paisley Park to watch the Revolution play two sets. Sadly, we were not allowed to take pictures. No pictures, please. 2023, I returned to Minneapolis and put the band back together. L.A. Buckner on the drums, St. Paul Peterson on the bass, Matt and myself on the keys, and the triumphant return of none other than Eric Leeds on the saxophone. We tracked four tunes this time, Liquor Stowe, Ladies of the Lake, Funk of the Month, and Minnesota Vice. And these will be on the forthcoming Lake Minnetonka album due next year. This is Dr. Fink from Prince of the Revolution in Minneapolis. And I'd like to thank you for commemorating 40 years of Purple Rain. To celebrate the 40th anniversary of Purple Rain, Matt joined me on Zoom for a three-part interview on my radio show Black Wax, where we discussed his favourite Prince synth solos, reminisced about his Australian visit, and spoke about the revolution post-Prince. This went to air on PBS 106.7 FM, July 1st, 2024. Matt Fink continues to represent the legacy of Prince's music, having just played two shows with the Revolution at First Avenue and touring with St. Paul and the Minneapolis Funk All-Stars. We love you, Matt, and thanks for everything you've done to support us and the Purple Funk legacy. And just when I thought it was all a dream, 